All right, let's talk about custom handlers. These are lightweight web servers that receive events from function hosts, and uh, they can be written as long as it supports HTTP primitives. And these are really great in situations where you want to have a runtime that is not supported for like a language like Go, Rust, Ruby, uh, or a runtime environment for a specific technology where you need a bunch of libraries preloaded like Ruby on Rails or Deno. Uh, and so within your function, uh, function JSON, the idea here is you'll have a custom handler section. And this is gonna just basically define the executional execution uh, path because it basically is running a program. Custom handlers, you can use triggers and inputs and output bindings via the extension bundles. Okay, so let's kind of visualize that so we really understand that this is like a separate thing that's running. Uh, so the function will pass along the payload to the custom handler. The communication between the function and custom handler is via HTTPS request and response. The custom handler runs on white, lightweight web servers. The underlying compute will likely vary based on what service plan you, is chosen. So it's gonna be other places. I couldn't really figure out where they were. The custom executable for the custom handler is bundled along with your function code. Um, so there's that there. Uh, some, some things about the application structure. To implement a custom handler, your application must have the following, a host JSON file, a local settings JSON file, a function JSON file, uh, a command script or executable, which will run on the web server. Uh, and then the following diagram shows how these files look on the file system for a function named myq and a custom handler. So here you can just kind of see, <laughs> it's not the prettiest, but I mean, it gets the point across. The idea is you have a folder, here's your function JSON, and this one happens to use an executable. In practice, custom handlers are super, super hard to do. Uh, and I think I mentioned this before, but you know, I was trying to set up a Ruby one and it didn't work. And I tried to set up the, the, the tutorial one that's in the docs for Rust or Go, that didn't work. I reached out to the person that made it, that didn't work. I reached out to uh, Azure support. They didn't know how to do it. So um, if people are running custom handlers, if anyone figures it out, please tell me. Uh, hopefully I do figure it out and we get included in this course. If we don't, just understand if I couldn't do it, then I don't. it's not a big deal if you don't know how to do it, okay? But for me, I personally would have loved to uh, run Ruby because uh, that's my favorite language to use. Uh, and that's what I would use on uh, Azure Functions.